Hey, welcome back. In this segment, you're going to learn to make a very handsome grill apron. So let's get started. Okay, once you have printed out, assembled, and trimmed your pattern, we're going to take it to the fabric. Now here's our pattern, and I've laid it out on the fabric against the fold. Here's my selvage, and my fold is over here, and I've pinned it in place. We pin pointing toward the corners, and we pin in a perpendicular manner toward our straight lines. Now we're going to just simply cut that out. We're going to start here. We're going to cut all the way around and stop right here. Now this line means the fold. You do not cut along this. And now we need to cut out our pocket. Now I've placed this on a single layer of fabric with the grain line going up and down. Alright, now about our fabric, I've used a lightweight duck cloth or a lightweight canvas for the body of our apron. Now if you're using a lighter weight fabric like we are for the pocket, you'll probably want to use an interfacing to give it more stability. This is a fusible interfacing. Now as you see, there's glue on this side and not on this side. So this is the side we'll iron on. Alright, now what we're going to do is take a non-steaming iron and we're going to place the rough side or the glue side against our fabric back and we're going to begin pressing. You're going to start toward the center and you're going to kind of push out. That way you end up with no bubbles inside. And we go nice and slowly because what's happening is, is that this interfacing is fusing to your fabric. Now you're going to want to let this cool before you sew on it so that it doesn't gum up your needle. This is our heavy duty machine needle. As you can see, it's a lot thicker than our average size needle. Measuring to make sure. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is measure down from the very top of our apron, one half inch going to press this down. Then I'm going to fold it down one more time. This time I'm going to fold it down an entire inch, press it, and I'm going to pin it in place. Next we are going to take the side of our apron and we're going to fold it in one half inch, press it in place, fold it in again one half inch, press that in place and pin that. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. Okay, here's where we are so far. We have pressed down and pinned the top and both sides. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we are going to straight stitch. Now when we straight stitch, we're going to go right along this inner fold. Let's take that to the machine. As always, we're starting in needle down position. I'm going to stitch forward and backward to lock that stitch. Then I'm going to stitch straight across the upper part of the apron. And now I'm doing the sides. Now as you stitch, you can line up the edge of your presser foot with this fold in order to help you stay straight. So here's where we are. We've stitched across the top, we've stitched across both of the sides, and now we're going to put a hem across the bottom. Now what you're creating on these parts is called a rolled hem. 
Now our bottom rolled hem is going to mimic the top. First one half inch, pressed in, then one inch, pressed in, and pinned. Now I've pressed in my half inch, but before I go on to my one inch, I'm going to clip my right corner here so that it turns nicely for me. Now we'll go on to our one inch. Taking my hem ruler, I'm going to measure out one inch, press it, and pin that in place. Now as I go to pin my one inch, even though I have clipped that, I'm going to fold this in just slightly, creating a nice square corner. Do that on both corners. Now again, we're going to line up the presser foot with the edge of this fold right here, and we're going to create a bottom hem Now I want you to see, as I come to the end, I go off and I'm going to reinforce right there where we have folded over. Now we're going to take our piece back to the ironing board and we're going to set all those seams. This is how you set a seam. You press on one side, and you turn it over and you press on the other side. This causes your stitches to become more uniform. All right, now we're going to prepare our pocket. What I'm going to do is take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to zigzag stitch all the way around on four sides. Right now I'm just zigzag stitching right along this raw edge to keep this from fraying. Now when you get to a corner you're going to stop with your needle down, raise your presser foot and pivot. Then you're just going to keep sewing. Now once you've zigzagged all the way around, you're going to take this to the ironing board and you're going to fold in three quarters of an inch on both sides. You're going to come down here to the corner, fold in the corner, press that in place just like this and like this, and then across the bottom again a three quarter inch fold. Now pin all these in place. And I'll show you our next step. All right, now I have folded in and pressed three quarter of an inch on three sides. I've opened this up and I folded in a corner so that it'll make a really nice square corner right here. Now I'm pinning from the outside in, and you'll see why when we go to place this on our apron. Now this will be our top. I'm going to fold in a good size corner on each side. I'm going to fold our piece in one half inch at the top and press it and then I'm going to fold it in one more time one half inch because we're going to make a rolled hem at the top. Now we're going to press it and pin it in place. Now our top hem is the only hem we're going to stitch at this point. We're going to straight stitch with the edge of our presser foot lined up with this fold. Now we're going to position our pocket on the apron. Now I have placed my pocket on in such a way that it is five and a quarter inches from each side and five and a quarter inches from the bottom. I've pinned that on. Then I measured over exactly seven inches from the side and I marked that with a pencil and then seven inches from this side and I marked it with a pencil. And that's where we're going to put our double row of stitching that is going to create two pockets and make that nice and secure in the center. Now let's take this to the machine. All right, now remember we're not going to sew across this top. We're only going to sew these three sides and down the center. I'm lining up my presser foot with about a quarter of an inch. So my seam allowance will be about a quarter of an inch all the way down 
and all the way around. With needle down, I'm going to start, I'm going to reverse, and I'm going to start again. I'm going to reverse again because we want the beginning to be very sturdy on a pocket. As I come down to the corner, I'm going to stop, raise my presser foot, and pivot with my needle down. And I'm just going to keep sewing. Again at the end, I'm going to reverse, go forward, reverse, go forward and go right off that pocket onto the fabric. That way it'll be nice and sturdy at the beginning. Now what you've done is top stitched this pocket onto your apron. Here you have it. Now what you have done is top stitched your pocket to your apron. You have both hemmed it, top stitched it, and secured it to the apron in one step. Now we're going to take this back to the sewing machine and we're going to line our needle up first with this line to create our first row of stitching and then we'll come back and we'll create our second line of stitching by following this line. Now I'm putting my needle down making sure that I'm going to be right in line with this first line. I'm going to stitch forward and back and then forward very very slowly to make sure I make as straight a line as possible. And when I come to the end, I'm going to reverse a couple of times to make that nice and secure at the top again. Now I just moved over and I'm going to stitch that next line right next to it. Right, now I've gone back and I've erased my markings and I'm pressing to set those stitches. We're done with our pocket. The next thing we're going to do is finish these side seams and put on our straps. To do that you're going to need to have some quilt binding. Just like now our this. quilt binding is three yards long. I've measured 30 inches from each end and I've placed a little mark. That's where we're going to begin sandwiching the sides of our apron. And we're going to pin it all the way along here as we sandwich this in, just like this. Now once I've pinned this side, I'm going to find that mark on this side and begin. Make sure your piece doesn't twist anywhere. Notice how I just sandwich this all the way up and pin it in place. Very simple. Now I'm going to take those ends and I'm going to press an arrow first of all. Then I'm going to fold it over just like this. And I'm going to press that and pin it in place. All right, now this is our last step. We are going to start right here at the end and we are going to straight stitch following this inside fold right here, closing this. We're going to straight stitch all the way along that till we get to here. We're going to reinforce that. Then we're going to continue stitching all the way up, reinforce all the way up and around where the neck is going to be. All the way down, reinforce right here, 
all the way along this, reinforce right here, and then all the way to the end. All right, I'm stitching a quarter inch in from the folded edge. All right, we're going to sew onto the fabric, back off the fabric, back on the fabric again. Stitch off, back on, and off again. Okay, we're going to press to set the seam, and you are done. Here's your really great looking grill apron. Congratulations, you did it. Join us again for other great projects.